Today is the day we are finally making the 14-hour journey to cross the border back into the United States after spending two months in Mexico. Driving that long with dogs is tough, so we're going to break it up into two days. A couple hours into the drive, we hit our first military checkpoint where they actually had us get out of the van so that they could take a peek inside. We have heard that they're a little more thorough in their searches when you're going north, but they're usually super friendly, and one of the guys was interested in our espresso machine, so Nate made him a quick espresso and we were on our way. And after a long day of driving, we got to our spot for the night and went right to sleep. The next morning, we gave away any food we wouldn't be able to take across the border, and we were back on the road. There is a stretch of the highway from San Felipe to Ensenada that has giant potholes, but we made it through and we're considering crossing the border, but it was a Sunday and the wait time was really long. We didn't feel like driving anymore, so we got a spot at an RV park for the night. In the morning, we prepared our documents to cross the border. All we really needed was the dog's vet records and our passports. We decided to cross the border in Tecate. We only had to wait in line for about 10 minutes. Once we got to the front, they asked to see our passports. They took a very quick peek inside, and then we were back in the United States.